I'm Michael Belfiore. I'm speaking with Rebecca Geyer, a principal and co-founder of True Marketing. It's a full-service marketing agency serving the scientific and engineering communities uh, in Austin, Texas. Drew is recently named a top small business innovator by the Wall Street Journal, and I'm really excited to talk with Rebecca about the unique challenges of marketing to technologists and scientists. Welcome, Rebecca. Thank you so much, Michael. It's so great to be here. So, first of all, why marketing? Why is it important to have good marketing? Well, it's, it's really like you said in your post um, about you have fantastic products solving very challenging technical problems uh, that engineers and scientists are really wrangling with. And engineers and scientists are very passionate about solving those problems and doing it technically, accurately, precisely, and very soundly. And, but then they have to find that market in order to uh, fund even more uh, projects and solve more customers' problems, they have to market the products and the services that, that they have. Um, you can go on some word of mouth, but the scalability of that is, is quite limited. So being able to scale your, your products, your services, regionally across new markets really requires a sound a marketing strategy. And it's not just for consumers or people who are using the products too, right? I mean, we're also talking about to investors and funders. I mean, are you also working with people writing grants? I mean, does it cover a whole range? It really does. And, and that, you know, it's a great question, Michael, because that really is, is the crux of it, is it, you can do so many things. You can start with Facebook. You can start with your pitch to, to VC uh, community. You can start with your very first customer and trying to get a couple of your first customers. The, the key is marketing can suck you in pretty fast and really take over your life, your time, your money. And so it's so important to, to really have a plan and to know exactly what you're trying to accomplish and, and be as precise about your marketing as you are in the R&D and development of your products. What are the specifications of your marketing plan, just like what are the specifications of your product? That's a re really good way to put it. I mean, you told me that that was the single biggest it is. factor or piece that anyone should have with marketing, right? First, start with that plan and you, when That's you're exactly saying right. really spec it out, get all the details in place. Right know exactly what your budget is, who is your primary audience, is it the VC community, then start there and really get that right and then grow when you have more time, maybe more budget um, and so forth. So, Or if it's not the VC community, if it's customers, uh, if it's your first two or three customers, if you're in second, third round funding and you really need to start getting these products in real world applications, then that, let that be your focus. And then all of a sudden you wake up, you're a 5, 10, 20, 50 million dollar company. Your marketing evolves just like your product in R&D evolves and other parts of your operations. So that's really having that plan and having it very current uh, to your, the needs of your business is absolutely key. And that's really a key point too about the audience. Who is this person yes. you're talking to, right? Because everyone has a different level of scientific or uh, engineering expertise who you're commuting, right. uh, communicating that's to. That's right. exactly right. And, and even within a company, uh, we're working with one company right now that has, uh, it's a significant software purchase that they are marketing to their customers. And so it's an IT cell at first, but because of the nature of the product, in this case a software purchase, it requires a director of finance CFO uh, message as well. So it's even understanding what that full purchase looks like and having targeted messaging both on the technical level as well as at the management level. And you're really trying to do two things at once. You're trying to do the job of marketing, but you're also you're having to communicate what it is you're actually marketing. It might take some explaining, right? Yes, absolutely. And, and what we spend a fair amount of time with our you know, engineer and scientific customers is messaging. And uh, a lot of times, you know, it's, it's like um, we use the analogy of when do you draw the line in the sand and call your software version 2.0? Where, where do you draw the line in the features? And the same is true with messaging. It's very hard for engineers to draw the line on, on but, but there's 10 more specs and they're, they're incredible. 
but people only have so much time. And so you, what are the most three important that we want to lead with? And then if you get that hour long presentation opportunity, then we can go deeper. So really, really helping them hone their messaging is a real key uh, area that we focus on. I like your, your thinking of this as, as almost like an engineering project, right? Because yeah. simplicity in engineering and design also applies very well to marketing. It's simplicity That's in, in marketing as well, right? Yes, yeah, simple is beautiful in many aspects. What would you say the biggest challenges that your clients face? Is it communicating well about what they do or is it simplifying their message enough or fine-tuning their plan or all yeah. of the above? It's, it's an excellent question. I would say, honestly, the, the biggest challenge that engineers have is making time hmm. for marketing. Um, and, and if you say engineers and scientists and then you add to that in a small to medium size, say under 100 million, uh, 150 million size business that we're working with, it's really uh, these engineers are wearing a lot of hats. They have a lot of deadline, uh, deadlines. You're trying to uh, solve customers' problems and make sure there's a lot of satisfaction. And so then it becomes a challenge for them to take the time to be methodical in really developing that plan. Yeah. So, so I would say the biggest challenge is early on just really uh, getting them to spend the time to develop the plan and, and we have so many customers that have thanked us. Thank you for sticking with us. Thank you for really helping us through this process because it's just a well-oiled machine and they know exactly what needs to get done and they their web traffic's up, their sales leads are up, they're getting uh, you know really great traction in customer sites, their brand is consistent. So uh, I would say it's that time up front really uh, taking the time to do that strategic plan. And that's important to note, it's not just, I mean, they're working with you, you guys are actually doing the heavy lifting, but these right. folks really need to put in the, the time to think about what they want to communicate, how to get their ideas across, and, and be very clear with you, first of all. And that that's takes exactly time, right? exactly right. And, you know, we always say we're only as good as our partner on the technical side. We're not engineers. We, uh, we have been in the engineering and marketing uh, community for 30 plus years. But we feel like it's it's good that we're not engineers because we really try to be that partner. But we have to have that technical partnership. Uh, and so, yeah, it's it's a really great process uh, up front. And then to see the results is just fantastic. Cool. Well, once again, I've been speaking with Rebecca Geyer of True Marketing. And True, does that stand for anything? Is, it, are those, is that an acronym? It's, it's actually not an acronym, um, but... Uh, it's it's really stuck. We had lots of ideas for company names, but in the end, it it has our initials with us, and it um, it it really stands in a in a in a nice uh, kind of funny way uh, for our motto, which is trust drives results. Uh, with with each other as employees, with our customers, and as we help our customers market uh, to their audiences, building that trust with them. So uh, so that's it. And you've got a, a free ebook, which I recommend, which I've read. It, yeah. it talks about the importance of this Thank plan you. and how to put it together, right? That's exactly right. And and it's download on uh, free for download on our website. Uh, it's on the Kindle store, and it really is a playbook for engineers. So I encourage people if if uh, they're not sure where to start, uh, buy. You, know, you don't have to buy the book. Well, you do have on on the Kindle store. They make us charge for it, but um, but get it and read it, and uh, hopefully it'll help. Help you get started. Smart marketing for engineers, it's called. It's, yes. It's really good, really lays out and really clear, simple, easy to understand language, probably, hopefully, like the, a lot of the work that your clients do with you. Yeah. Uh, what we the really importance try is. To, just to, to speak the language and and, uh, and really be that model for our customers. So hopefully it's as easy to read as we like our customers to market themselves. Absolutely. And it, so the website is True Marketing. That's T R E W marketing.com. Check it out. Thanks a lot, Rebecca. All right. Thank you so much, Michael.